What's up you guys? It's your girl Bianca and welcome to Bianca's World. Ah! First off, let's not pay attention to the missing nails. Second of all, if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. If you're already B gang, what's up B gang? Come on, bop, hit me back. Thank you guys for tuning in for today's video. Let's not make the intro long. Be sure to like the video. Let me not even tell y'all to be sure. If you care to, you know, if you want to support a new up and coming YouTuber like myself, subscribe, um, hit the like, you know, share the video if you want to. You don't really have to comment. That'd be really nice if you comment. You know, you can comment anything, even if it's just one emoji. Be sure to follow me on my social media platforms. They will be in the description box below. So there's the link. So you could just directly go to it. Without further ado, you guys, you're either what? B gang or B lane, baby. So let's get into the video. Okay, so yeah. Sorry that I start all my videos never looking like a really bomb, cute YouTuber. Sorry. But that's coming soon because I'm getting ready to get dressed because we're about to start this day. I didn't record for like the past two days. I woke up, it was Friday because it's, you know, it's Yonko's world on Friday. And I was taking all freaking day to upload a video like my computer and technology was just not on my side that day and it was just giving me the hardest time trying to save it and it was such a large file i don't have any wi-fi i'm using a hotspot off my phone and that's already moving slow and like it was just such a headache i did not post my video until 11 30 something at night i was like why am i going through all these obstacles for free <laughs> I went through a lot like I went through a lot that day just trying to like get a video up on Friday I don't know what the universe was throwing my way I don't know what the world was throwing my way but they was just like oh yeah we don't want her to get this video up and in my head I'm just like I don't know what reality you know everything else was taking place in but in this reality <laughs> the video is going up today they didn't get up till like 11 30 that night but that's the point the point of all of that is I'm not complaining about what all it took. I'm just letting you know that there will be obstacles along every way, along everything that you do. All you have to do is find a way. No matter how long it takes, find a way and make it happen. Jeep Life Story Time is already out. <laughs> yeah, and let me show you guys my outfit. This is what we're gonna look like today. Am I in the suitcase? Um, as far as my errands today, I'm getting ready to cook some stuffed chicken breast. I saw it on Jay Knight's page and was like, I got chicken breast, let's get it done. But I picked up sour cream instead of cottage cheese, and so now I gotta go pick up some cottage cheese. I just got a family dollar. I'm not making no real long errand run today. I'm literally just going to get this stuff because it's 1.32 and I wanna come back and start cooking dinner early. So I can, I'm going to record a reel and everything. So I might vlog while I'm cooking and stuff. Or I might just, you know, post it in a reel. You guys can just see it there. So make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see, you know. And tell Instagram they need to give me 60 second reels. Because they, ah, ooh, they playing with me. Instagram, y'all need to give me 60 second reels. Like, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Check thing, biancas.world. 60 second reels, please. Because 30 seconds ain't cutting it. This life is a movie and not a 30 second one. <laughs> Y'all, I forgot my camera. I purposely was out. Let me make sure I turn my camera so when I go into the stores and stuff, left the camera. But I can show you guys what I got. I ended up going to. Where I went? Oh, I went to Family Dollar, like I said. I picked up like some extra little house stuff or whatever. Nothing too mage. I ended up going to City Trends. That's the real thing, what I want to show you guys. I went to City Trends and let me show you guys what I got. Okay, she's going to put my top down. Hey, hey, hey. She hates when I'm gone for too long. Okay, so I went to City Trends and I got this ab roller. One day I'm gonna work out. I bought these real cute little house shoes. Like, I just needed shoes for the house. 
So I, gra I grabbed these and they were only like, ooh, it's hot under this wig. Like I said, I put this little ashtray. There's always, there's always mascara. I got a satin eye mask because I be needing this when it gets too bright. So I do love the fact that it's like satin. Some Rogue. I needed some body spray. And it's by Rihanna. Mini flat iron. Because I got to get the baby hairs together when I need to, tss, 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 you know? So I got the little baby flat. So cute. Little strappy to tie up. Um, it is 3.06 and so I'm about to start cooking dinner. Right mother get now. Who need a lap dance? A sloppy toppy. <laughs> yeah, so we're ready to start cooking, so be back you guys. Alright y'all, so I done, well I done cooked, but it's still cooking. I got the meat in the oven, the Mexican mashed potatoes are done, the broccoli is just on a low simmer just for it to, you know, heat up, and the meat is in the oven, so I was just gonna wait on that stuff to be done, and so I was just cleaning my room, and so, um, oh, I need to start, what's today? Oh, today's Sunday. Okay, I still got time. I need to start editing, so I'm gonna probably start editing tomorrow because tonight I need to spend most of my time um, doing my reels. So I need to finish, like waiting for the food to be done so I can plate it and make sure like it's real cute. Like y'all, I don't really be cooking, for real. I really don't be cooking. Like when I used to stay at home, let me tell y'all, cause people be wanting to know like, uh, people be wanting to know like, okay, well why don't you cook? Like when people ask me, like this guy in California, he asked me, he was like, oh, do you cook? And I was just like, yeah, kind of. Like, I cook what I like to eat or whatever. But, like, you know, for me to be like, oh, I cook, ma like, I cook macaroni, fried ribs, collard greens, cabbage, cornbread, all that. You know, honestly, I don't cook the southern foods. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so it's like I really don't be cooking. And, like, yeah, it's my lash coming off, y'all, so don't talk about it. But whatever so I don't be cooking because like when I used to be at home you, you know it's just like it was a lot of people like my mom used to cook for a lot of people all my life like my brother when he was in high school his friends come over like my older brother pretty much both of my older brothers like when they would bring their friends home my mama would be cooking this when I was like a baby probably wasn't even born sometimes but like I was a baby so she'll be cooking a whole bunch of food for them and then like I would bring my friends over, she'll be cooking food for them, she'll be baking all her sweets and stuff, and then like my dad used to coach basketball, football, so then all the boys would be over, she'll be cooking large lunch meals and all type of stuff for them, she was such a, a football mom, so she used to bring, like be cooking all that food, and then within the house it was me, two of my brothers, plus my niece, plus another person, plus my daddy, and my mom, and then like my cousins would come over, so it'd be like four of them. So, like, it used to be a household of people, y'all. And she used to cook for all of them. So, like, when she would do that, you know, like, obviously she had so many people to cook for. You know, sometimes her meals were, like, quick, simple, easy, you know, to the get-go. And I knew, like, you know, I, I wanted to cook more than that. But, you know, that's what she would cook. So, I never used to go in the kitchen when she would cook. You know, sometimes I probably would help her out. Or I would just be, like, one day I'll just wake up and be like, oh, let me just cook my own meal. You know, for the family and stuff. But... I wasn't going to get in that kitchen and cook meals and, like, be having to cook for all those people. Oh, no. That wasn't my lifestyle. So, I just never used to get in the kitchen and cook. So, now that I'm here and I have a really nice kitchen to cook in, it's like, of course I'm going to cook. Like, I got to eat. Like, I didn't want to be cooking in no ugly kitchen because I wanted to showcase what I could do. Or at least what I think I could do. I don't be knowing what I could do, y'all, until I just do it. And so, apparently, I could cook. So, and I got a whole nice kitchen to cook in with it. Like, you feel me? So, 
yeah um so that's why i'll be cooking like that but it's my first time really cooking and i'm so excited like this is a real big meal it's the mashed potatoes the broccoli and the chicken and it's stuffed chicken like it's cream cheese stuffed chicken however i don't know what it's called but it's stuffed chicken so i really had to like you know do my little best do my little dollar there's dinner y'all know i love me some cheese so i got cheese on top of the mashed potatoes and those are Mexican style mashed potatoes. And they got the stuffed chicken over there. Mmm. With some nice seasoned brock. And I got a Sprite right in that cup. Seen that bubble? That's a Sprite. So, let's get ready to eat. Hi. Thank you guys for tuning in to Slay or Nay. On today's game show, we have our first contestant. Hi, my name is Bianca, and I came onto this show. I signed up, and I thought I'll see what it's all about. Okay, Bianca, thank you for coming in. So on today's show of Slay or Nay, you get to pick a wig. And out of our selection of wigs, you get to keep one and take one home. Oh my gosh. Thank you so... Are you serious? Are you serious? Because honestly, I've been wearing this wig for like the past, I don't know, two weeks or so, and I'm ready to get rid of it. I'm excited. I get to pick a new wig today. Ah! Now, behind Sage, we allowed Bianca to go through the first, well, the first four wigs. And this is what she had to say. Cut to the clips. Cut to the clips. Cut to the clips. So wig number one. It smells really good. And the color is kind of okay, but I really want something a little bit more. Pow. Wig number two. It's just the color is a no. Nay. Contestant number three just really wasn't giving it to me. Nay. Contestant number four really came with a style. She said, I'm going to show up, style, and ready to go. She has potential. So I say I want to slide her over into the Mike Just Be Slay. Okay, so as you guys have seen throughout those clips, we have two contestants in the trash. One contestant who's made it to Slay. Round two. Let's see what others we have to qualify. And let's bring contestant number five to the stage. Um, contestant number five is, no, it's going to nay right in the garbage. Nay. So let's see about, con oh shit. And now let's hear it for contestant number five, everybody. Contestant number five. Let's see what Bianca has to say about it. Okay, contestant number five. Um, really like the color. Is it giving pop out guess who's bitch a little bit of plucking here you know i must say she's gonna be a keeper slay let's bring out contestant number six let's see what bianca has to say about this one okay contestant number six um let's see with you i remember you sweetheart you and i did some amazing slays together <laughs> That's just pretty cool. I have been liking blue lately. So you guys are onto something. Slay! Contestant number seven, come on down. As you guys can see, contestant number seven. Let's just see what Bianca has to say about this one. Comment below, do you think she's gonna slay or nay it? This is contestant number seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. I really don't know what to say about you. You're giving me very much mullet from this angle. Rock on, rock on, rock on, rock on. I'm going to go with Slay in the long run. Okay, so we're almost there, you guys. So far, just to recap, we have three in the Slay pal, three in the Nay pal, and two in the long term pal. Let's see what she has to say about contestant number eight. As you can see, is another bob, orange in color. Okay, so I see you guys are knocking me across the head with the orange. I'm going to give her a brush test. Just, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's really about the texture. I'm not too sure about it. But I would love to pass a flat iron through her and see what she's about. I'm going to slay her in the long run. And now we're down to our final contestant. She's appearing teal on camera, more of like an aqua on camera. But in fact, she is more of a forest green. Wish you guys could see that. Let's see what Bianca has to say this time. You guys comment below. Is it going to be a slay or is it going to be a nay? It's the final contestant. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. 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 Let's give it a brush. 
Okay, that brush passed through a lot better than what I expected. I really do enjoy the color. You guys can't really see it on camera, but in person, it is a very nice green. I'm gonna say slay. Okay, you guys, we have made it to round two. The winner of this round will be taken home with Bianca. So let's remind you guys of who all made it. Contestant one, contestant two, contestant three, contestant number four. Okay, you guys, these four will be given to Bianca. These are her selections. At the end of this round, one of these wigs will be getting slayed this week. So let's see what she has to pick. If you guys think you know, Comment below and let us know which wig do you think will slay with Yonka. Okay, you guys, we're here. Um, super nervous about this, but I know I have to make a decision because I am so ready to take home one of these wigs. I really don't want to have to do this, but I will have to eliminate three of them. So let's start with the first elimination. Okay, well, for contestant number one, I'm going to say um, I love the color, love the length. But I'm not really feeling the lace. So um, it's going to have to be a nay for me. Contestant number two. Um, I really do enjoy the color. I do enjoy this strip. I feel like this is pretty different. Can look pretty well on the head. Um, but I'm sorry, not today, you have been made. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are down to the final two. We are down to the final two. Comment below, which one do you guys think will make it to the end? Which one will Yonka pick? Will it be the green bob? Or would it be midnight inches? Um, When it comes down to contestants three and four, um, <clears throat> I really do like you both. I must say, texture is very nice and willing to work with. Number four, I must say, you showed up with some intention on showing out and standing out. And you have done that. That's why you've made it this far. You are a really nice um, forest green that I've never tried. And I am kind of feeling the light roots. I really do prefer something bright, but yet you have the inches. What am I gonna do? Who am I gonna pick? I have one picture in my hand and, and the picture that I have is of the one who will be going home. I don't have to do this, but the picture I have is Midnight Inches. I'm so sorry, Midnight, you, you have been eliminated. I, I hope I see you again. No. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? We have a winner, you guys. We have a winner. Yes, Bianca has just selected a winner. You're about to see this beauty slayed with Bianca. Thank you so much for tuning into the show. If you would like to see that wig installed and placed on her head, be sure you're following Bianca on all her social media platforms. Instagram, biancas.world. Also on TikTok, conspiracy underscore baddie. And make sure you subscribe right on YouTube, Bianca's World. Catch you guys next episode. That's it, fire. Oh, I'm still recording. Good morning, you guys. Um, Look who doesn't look a mess. I don't know. I'm still searching for that person because clearly I do. Um, my mom had called me and was telling me. She actually was the one who called and woke me up. Um, it was like 12 o'clock, 12, 10, I think. And she called and was telling me, um, like she was with my dad and they had to go somewhere for like a little slight minor emergency. So yeah, I started my day off with that. Um, didn't let it get me too down or anything, but, but I told her to call me once they get back home. Um, so I decided to make me some breakfast, but you know, y'all know I love me some brunch. Y'all know I don't be around here <laughs> eating breakfast. I eat brunch. Got some tater tots, a croissant. It's actually a bacon and sausage. I put the sausage crumbles in the eggs. And so like you could kind of see like there's a sausage, you know, a sausage. I baked it into the eggs and then put some cheese. That's turkey bacon. And then I got like a little half and half ketchup and like a little, um, 
secret sauce and then just got a ginger ale because yeah y'all saw yesterday my nail i just kept sniffling and it was just making me so tired but after i ended up trying to pick out a wig or whatever um thank you guys for tuning into that game show it was like child the way i was feeling after sniffling for so long and it made my eyes just feel heavy so i was like took me a little bit of night I was like that's it just go to sleep but i definitely want to install me a new wig today um i should be doing that today might record a tiktok today or something so as far as now i'm just gonna be ready to eat so let's get some food down our throat good morning you guys um it's been a while since i picked up my camera y'all i just really been locked in the house my car had needed a new battery and so i just been locked in the house for like a week and a half like two weeks not been able to go anywhere because i had to go through fourth of july being in the house and everything because my car the battery was just completely dead and so yeah i just been inside but um yeah i'm about to change my hair so i'm getting ready to do my makeup because i need to change my hair i'm tired of my hair looking like what it's been looking like well with that black wig so i'm about to do my makeup that's why my skin looks real oily or moisturized whichever one you want to pick because i just washed my face so i'm getting ready to install a wig so yeah i'm gonna film installing my green wig that i picked out and Hopefully it turns out really well. It's my first time really like vlogging a hair video again. And yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what type of hair vlogger I want to be. And so it's just going to start somewhere. So I just got to start filming. <laughs> like I'm trying to stay in the camera, but not stay in the camera. But it look like the camera's just leaving me. Let me do it again. This is gonna look stupid. Now I still just look retarded. I cannot record these TikToks, y'all. It's just so annoying. Y'all, I have been so stressed. Y'all don't understand. I have been so stressed. <sighs> Let me just see if I can get some better light. Hey, when I look so orange. Y'all, mm, and now I just look pale. I have just been so stressed. Like, I just feel like... I'm trying to record. My camera's about to run out of space because I need to transfer footage onto my computer. And like trying to get my hair to all of this just took so long. Recording was just such a hassle. Oh my gosh. Um, just today is just not a good day. Like I won't say it's not a good day, but how I feel, I just feel so overwhelmed with like stuff everywhere. Me working through a chaos, working through a mess. But something in my head is just saying, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. You know, like even when I feel like my makeup looks a mess, I really just feel like the hair just looks, you know, it's okay. And like, you know, and then like how I feel like my footage and stuff is just, I just feel some type of way, but something inside of me is telling me to just keep doing it. I'm doing what's right because you know, I need to do it in order to learn what I like and don't like about what I need to get done and what it's gonna be like getting my videos done. As far as getting lifestyle videos, and getting um hair videos up on top of me just was recording a tiktok and now i gotta get footage and stuff for instagram so like yeah but so far this is let me show you the room and this is after i cleaned some of it up but it's like to just have all this stuff right here i had to pull the mirror in here and then I was sitting right here, got the light up, 
I don't even pay attention to it. Was trying to put on an outfit. Realized I don't really have any clothes. I'm finna throw all those clothes away and force myself to buy some new ones. And yeah. But overall, it's like the hair doesn't look so bad. But I just been working through such an overwhelming situation for myself because I really like to like have stuff neat and clean and just to have let's not forget the hair stuff and I put some of that hair stuff up because I had like four flat irons out the spray the blow dryer the mini flat iron the hot comb the it was some of everything out y'all so to just like have all that everywhere and it was just be overwhelming and now I gotta try, try to transfer this footage before it runs out of memory and stuff and but the point is that we got the job done we got the job done. We got the hair done, got the makeup done, got the video recorded, got the thumbnails taken, got the TikTok recorded. It may not all be of what I want it to be, but there is baby steps in life. So, yeah, the point is that I worked through these emotions and got them done. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for today's vlog. Like I said, if you really enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment below whatever your thoughts are, things that you want to see me doing in future videos and stuff. See you next video.